Good morning guys. Vlog takeover. Day 31. Vlog takeover. Day 31, Marcy. Ah. Ah. Say hi. Okay, what are we eating? We're having Vegemite on Turkish toast with cheddar cheese. Oh, yes. How good is that? Okay, sitting on the seat, Massey. Sitting on the seat. Good boy. Oh, no Vegemite on the... No Vegemite on the couch. What a gorgeous day it is in Sydney. Oh. Have a look at that. Beautiful. <coughs> Say hi. Uh, good morning, Polly. Good morning. How are you? Very well. How are you? Oh, yeah. Yes, I look at you. Masi, do you know this? Lesson one. Birkin cannot sit in the direct sun. Lesson two. Birkin cannot sit on the ground. Reservation for its own show. Lesson three. Lesson Get a mortgage to buy Birkin. <laughs> <laughs> and lesson four. Don't look at the Birkin. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make direct eye contact <laughs> with the Birkin. Yeesh. I am running late this morning. I am running late. Bam. I'm just in a reflector key mood. These are my uh, crispy collaboration with Key. These are my big, they're called jet lag. And they've got the rose gold reflector lens. I'm usually, I love reflector. Like obviously I've purchased it, but sometimes I just feel like I can't pull it off. Like, ow. I have stopped to get a morning coffee. I'm so late for my hair appointment. I changed my hair appointment with my hairstylist Daniela because I'm obviously going overseas so I had to bring it forward and um, so I'm just getting a coffee and I'm running really late, it's not good. Hello! Hello, it was just funny because he was just, he was like, yeah, he likes having his hair up. Yeah, he loves looking pretty. So Daniela's here. That's probably a funny angle. <laughs> Daniela's here. She's going blonde and short. I told her to do like the bob look that it's in. I'm so glad he cut it. Yes. When, so how long ago was that? Um, I've been cutting it for a little while now since I last saw you actually. And then oh, really? I cut it again on Thursday. I love it. Like keep going to I love it. Yeah, I really love it. And the blonde? Yes. Slowly, slowly going blonde. Why do you like, pref like, why do you, why would you say to go slowly? Um, it just helps the condition of the hair. You get a better finish in your blonde. It comes up creamier. Yeah, rather than like a rather straight than out bleach. Story, yeah. Yeah. Cool. So Danielle is just gonna do a cut for me today. Um, so it's nice and fresh. For my trip, and then I'll come back. I'll come back to the salon and just get a color put through. We got to get her on the vlog real quick. She's got another client, but she just finished my hair, and we Looking love stunning it. Again. Looking She's stunning. back. I'm back to go to the US. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Pleasure. Okay, I just got some new hair. And I'm going back next week to get my colour, so that's good. Just got the cut, very exciting, I love it. This is Daddy Cam, Masi, say hi. Masi and I are going for our morning walk at the beautiful Church Point on the northern beaches of Sydney. What an amazing scenery. Look at that. You love it, Masi? You love it, don't you? Yeah, daddy time. It's amazing. Where are you? Hi, haircut. Hi, haircut. Hi, oh, yeah, okay, cool. I'll meet you there. Bye. Bye. Did you have a nice walk? 
there's a place there. Yeah. They've got old banners and stuff, and then yeah. they've got three mounds of dirt with oh, tombstones like on tombstones. it. Oh, like tombstones? Ooh, Sibuki! <laughs> Word, ladies. <laughs> ladies. Palea. Palea. Abu. What if you mean? want a good time, the number's on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> fa, fa, fa. <laughs> oh my god, how can I not leave this You gibberish? cannot do that. <laughs> Off and Mussy's one. 16 months and they're the same size. Come on. It smells like helping you. Look, see? Yummy. It's so cute. That's good. Good job, Ismail. Yum! Say thanks! Very good. Boo! High five, Marcy! It's just a package drink. It's called a package drink. Oh, you're so good. High five, Marcy! High five! High five! Oh, pound? Pound? Yeah! Pound? 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 Pound, Marcy! Knuckles! How do you get ready for the restaurant? Saturday at the cafe machine. Sa, <laughs> 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 oh, that's the noise you make. Sa, Masi, Masi, Masi. Well, let's do a bit of Q and A. The boys have just stepped out of the house. Thank you so much to everyone who's just like, yay, you're coming to America. If you are in the US, I know I have followers from all different parts of the globe. But yes, I am unfortunately only coming to the West Coast and California to be exact because that's obviously where Fashion File is located at the moment. So unfortunately the two locations I'm heading to is just Beverly Hills and San Diego. I'm not going to be able to get up to San Francisco this time to see the Fashion File location up there or see any subbies but you guys we are in the mix. We are trying to set up a meet and greet in both locations. I think hopefully I'm working it over with some of the administrators but in both locations we're trying to do a meet and greet with not only me other other youtubers other bloggers as well and we will let you know once that is all nutted out and sorted out so that everyone is sort of clear on what's going on so many people are so upset that it's the end of vlogtober i really really enjoy it so it's time to vote if you want me to keep daily vlogging, let's just say till the end of the year, so November, December, give me a thumbs up or write yes, let me know. I know you guys are enjoying this content too, which, look, to be honest, it was surprising to me. I did not think, you know, this was going to be my zhuzh at all. So if you want me to keep daily vlogging, just say yes in the comments. Okay, so first we've got Susan. Hi Susan, she writes first, yay, Jerusha. She writes, Jerusha, I've been watching you since the beginning and never really thought of commenting. I am from Penrith, yes girl, she's from Sydney, nice. And she writes first, finally, lol. Ashley writes first, hey guys, hey Macy, hey Ashley. Wow, first come flying in. Mama Beach, Mama Beach, I love it. Me first, Nicole from DC. <laughs> That's Lux, Maria from Detroit. Hi love, she writes first to like and first to comment, yes. Megan writes first from Kentwood, Louisiana. Hi Louisiana, hi doll. Love you and your family, I love watching every day you are beautiful keep it up oh you're so lovely thank you this is so cute there are so many people that actually say they're in san diego and they live close to the fashion file there so please do a meet up guys we are definitely working on it trust me um and obviously i will let you know everything as it goes down rebecca writes san diego is one of my favorite cities i was unrealistically hoping for kansas though lol kansas that is so cool hi rebecca um moo moo kitty writes i wish you were coming to the fashion file in um san francisco 
Mm, yeah, I know. I oh, look, honestly, some of these comments, I wish you were coming to New York. I wish you were coming. Some of Zara wrote, I wish you were coming to London. I know, I wish I was coming everywhere. Okay, so that's my last Q&A for Vlogtober. I love, love, love when you guys talk to me and ask me questions and comment. That is what's made Vlogtober so great, especially for me. I'm sorry for the days I wasn't able to do Q&A or like reply, but I feel like you guys really understand that I film, edit and upload in the same day. And I feel like you're really understanding that. So you're like, no, no, we understand you're really busy. Today's feature, as I've been doing all through Vlogtober, is going to be my vlog sale, but only just like a little bit. I'm just gonna show you and then I'm gonna have a Google document with everything linked below and you can email me um, off that Google document. You can get the information and if you're interested in the item, you can email me to purchase it. So the first item up in my vlog sale is this beautiful new, uh, new shaped box and it is in fact my Louis Vuitton travel um, turbulences the perfume so all of the cards were in here everything about the perfume a little sample of apogee was in there so I went with the travel set rather than one of the big perfumes so this is what you get it is the travel um, dispenser so one two three four uh, infills or refills that go inside the spray so this is the canister here and as you can see it's obviously small and cylindrical goes in your purse perfectly it's got LV engraved on the top and it's a little magnetic lid and you can just press down for the spray there it's like new so that's the whole set that I'm selling Next up in the perfume department is in here, in this Chanel beauty bag. I put all of the ribbons exactly like you just bought it. And this, again, is the Travel uh, Twist and Spray in the Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. Again, I did not use this barely at all. There is a one refill in there and then you get another refill in here and it looks like so you have the white cc's on top and you just twist and you can spray it it's if you've smelt coco mademoiselle and it's definitely a fragrance you like to get you know to get the travel uh to get the travel twist and spray dispenser you know at a, a less than retail price and this will definitely work for you. Next up, uh, these guys. These are my uh, Chanel, one and only pair of Chanel sunglasses. They come with the box, a little, uh, the little dust baggie, and they come with the care booklet, which has the authenticity card in the back. They even have an authenticity card. The case, which is there with the CC logo on it. And these are my reflector black lego and sorry it has the dust cloth as well uh lego i think they're called like the lego collection they're from the shopping center collection i'm pretty sure um you can see the see that the lego cc logos there which was similar to the yeah the little lego clutch purse that they had sticky in sunglasses these are my beautiful Mew Mews. if you saw this unboxing i basically bought these for the packaging I was having a very girly moment, and if you've ever, ever bought Mew Mew, it is beautiful. This is the gorgeous velvet, like, velour case, and it has a little baggy down inside that it's all in that beautiful pink velour um, velvety fabric as well. And these are my uh, gold, rosy gold uh, reflector aviators that I picked up from Mew Mew and I as well do not wear these. They've got great detail on the back. They're very, very lightweight. Last pair of sunnies are my Bulgaris. Again, you get the box, the serpent detail on the back, on the actual arms. I've got the beautiful serpent uh, scales there with the embroidery of like a uh, Bulgari on the side of it. Alrighty, second to last item is in this beautiful drawer box. I had picked this wallet up. Probably instead, 
definitely instead of buying the insulet wallet in Damier Room with red lining, I picked this up instead. This is the compact Kourous wallet in all over monogram emprunt leather. It is divine smelling. Emprunt never loses its smell. If you are definitely a collector of all leather pieces, Emprunt gives you that hint of monogram in a really kind of chic, subtle way. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got gorgeous, gorgeous glazing. It's in perfect condition. I probably use this maybe all of twice. I've recently had it all polished up beautifully. The front button has engraving. It is a trifold like so, but it's still pretty compact. It's probably the size of a mini pochette size reference wise. You have a slip compartment on the front. I've got the booklet and everything and tags. Everything comes with pretty much everything. You've got your credit card slots and you have a zipper compartment as well. Okay, and last but definitely not least, I have had a couple of interested emails on this item. Honestly, hand on heart, I've had about five. The reason I can't keep getting back to everyone and they're not necessarily getting back to me and answering if they're interested or not is becoming quite hard. So I thought I would just put it in this vlog sale showing you guys. Uh, and then that way I can, you know, really gauge real, I guess, real interested buyers. But down inside here is my gorgeous Chanel wok or wallet on a chain, which I am deciding to sell. It is in immaculate, excellent condition. Pretty much, you know, close to, if not, you know, near new, hardly used. Uh, and I am deciding to part with it to obviously fund my recent purchases. It's got everything. It comes with absolutely everything and is in beautiful condition. And it's got the burgundy interior, it's been stuffed, it's always stored nicely. I've maybe used this a handful of times. If that, if you are looking for a black caviar, classic Chanel wallet on chain with gold hardware from the resale market, you can buy mine. <laughs> maybe we should have Mussy Cam. that is it if you are interested in any of those items I will leave a Google document below and that will have all of the items and you can email me off them it will have all the prices and all the details take a look at that and you can email me if you're interested oh, are you guys in for a treat today this is gonna be a long vlog it is already 6 30 6 30 I am starting to get some dinner ready we are gonna have Greek souvlaki. Shout out to all my Greek subbies. We love souvlaki. However, oh, mum's calling me. She's home from Brisbane. Okay, so that was just mum. This is a butterfly lamb shoulder. I love these. I get these from Woolies. I love them so much. And this is a herb and garlic. What I do is I just lightly fry it and seal it on either side. Chef hubby taught me that. And I and then I put it in the oven for about probably 25 to half an hour. We like our um, lamb kind of medium rare, more on the rare side. And um, then I do some pita, a little bit of sort of cold slaw, and some tzatziki, and we love it. And Mussy and Hubby and I are gonna have that for dinner. So just pop that in the pan on kind of a light to medium heat. We don't want to shock the meat and then we seal it both sides and pop it in the oven alrighty so we have just taken the lamb out of the oven it is perfect so it is gonna sit and rest back here for five ten minutes okay here is my cold slaw it's really just one of those Asian boxes but that's okay because it's shredded carrot bit of um, cabbage and that's fine and so I'm just putting a little bit of cold slaw dressing and going to mix in a little bit of um, kewpie mayonnaise, Japanese, kewpie Japanese mayo, just to make it a little bit sweeter and less sour. Yeah. 
and mix that on up. So we're going to have cold slaw in this and we're in for a treat because hubby is going to make you some fresh tzatziki in here. We're going to make tzatziki. I'm just going to use some fresh garlic. Squash the garlic. Just a little bit of lemon juice. Lemon juice, perfect. Some Greek yogurt, perfect. A little bit of pepper. Put a nice well. Keep it. Alright, and here is our homemade tzatziki without cucumber, but that's okay. Alright guys, here's our dinner. So, a nice souvlaki <laughs> with some pita or flatbread. Beautiful butterfly lamb shoulder. Hubby made the tzatziki. A little bit of chips and the, the cold saw. Little chips for Mussy. Chips for Mussy. Daddy's going to feed you. Okay, guys, I am going to end Vlogtober right here. Holy moly, day 31. Kind of emotional. I made it all the way to the end of Vlogtober. It has been awesome. All of your interaction has been awesome. You got to kind of meet my hubby, but also interact with my family, which has been amazing. So from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say thank you so much for watching my daily vlogs throughout October. It has been so cool. We've all enjoyed it so much. And yep, until the next time, if you voted yes for more daily vlogging. Okay guys, take care, peace.